हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू येट अनदर क्लास ऑफ सोशल साइंस टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द पार्ट टू ऑफ द चैप्टर ऑन इक्वेलिटी यू हैव स्टडीड द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इट वेल नाउ वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द रिमेनिंग पोर्शन ऑफ द चैप्टर आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इक्वेलिटी इन इंडियन डेमोक्रेसी द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रिकग्नाइजेज एवरी पर्सन एज इक्वल एवरी इंडिविजुअल इन द कंट्री इंक्लूडिंग मेल फीमेल पर्सन फ्रॉम ऑल द कास्ट रिलीजन ट्राइब्स एजुकेशनल एंड इकोनॉमिक बैकग्राउंड आर रिकग्नाइज एज इक्वल this is not to say that inequality does not exist in our society it exists but at least in democratic india the principle of the equality of all persons is recognized which was not existing no law was existing earlier to protect the people from from discrimination and ill treatment but now our constitution protects every individual from any kind of discrimination now we will study about the provisions under indian constitution which recognizes equality for the people of our country number 1 every citizen is equal before the law what does this mean it means that every person is equal before the law from the president of the country to kanta who is a domestic worker they all have to obey the same laws and the laws will be interpreted same for all the people of our country number 2 no person can be discriminated against on the basis of their religion race caste sex etc third every person has access to all the public places including playgrounds hotels shops and markets what does this mean that every person is free to access the public places no person can be prohibited from going anywhere or using any public place they can pub- use publicly available wells roads bathing ghats everything are accessible to all and the last one is untouchability has been abolished that means untouchability has been made illegal in our country if now anybody can be seen following untouchability or treating the lower caste people as untouchables legal action can be taken against those people untouchability is illegal in our country so these are the con- provisions of the constitution which recognizes every individual as equal i hope you have understood all these points let's understand the ways in which the government has tried to implement equality as we have studied earlier that it's guaranteed by our constitution that every person should be treated equally in the society now what gov- government does to do the uh, to ensure this there are two ways by which government tries to implement equality one is through laws there are several laws in india to protect every person's right to be treated equally and the second one is through government programs and schemes government has started many schemes to improve the lives of the disadvantaged communities now who are these disadvantaged communities these are the people who are poor or who have been deprived of opportunities since long or who have been treated unequally by the mainstream society so these people are called disadvantaged communities and the schemes and programs of the government 
they ensure greater opportunities for such kind of people to make them feel equal to the mainstream society one such scheme which is run by the government to ensure equality is midday meal scheme what is this midday meal scheme this is the scheme which is introduced in all the government elementary schools to provide children with cooked lunch it was first introduced in tamil nadu in india but later in 2001 the supreme court asked all the state government governments to begin this program in their schools and since then this scheme is running successfully in all the elementary government schools in which the children are provided with cooked lunch in this picture you can see the children having their lunch in the school under mid day meal scheme all the children are sitting together and having the same cooked lunch which is provided by the school under the mid day meal scheme program this scheme has had many positive effects now we will discuss them one by one number 1 more poor children have begun enrolling and attending the school regularly children when they started when they used to get the lunch in their school they have begun enrolling and attending the school regularly second attendance of the children has improved previously what happened teachers reported that sometimes children uh, go to their home for lunch and then they did not return to the school but now when the midday meal being provided in the school their attendance has improved considerably the third one their mothers did not have to interrupt their work to feed their children earlier what happened the mothers who were working in the field or somewhere else they had to return to their home to feed their children during the day time but now there was no need to do this because the children were being provided with the lunch in the school only the fourth one caste prejudices have reduced how this has happened because both lower and upper caste children were having the lunch were taking their meal together sitting in the same line so this has helped to reduce the caste prejudices and in some places even dalit women have been employed to cook the meal so this has a positive effect on their caste prejudices and the last one is the hunger of many poor children have been satisfied earlier the children who were empty stomach they could not concentrate on their studies but now when their hunger has been satisfied they can concentrate on their studies also so these were the positive effects of mid day meal scheme program which was started by government in 2001 now we will discuss the topic issues of equality in other democracies you must be wondering that india is the only democratic country in which there is inequality or the country where the struggle for equality continues to exist but it's not so not only in india in many other democratic countries around the world the issue of equality continues to be the key issue around which the communities struggle and one such example is the famous struggle of african americans in usa the movement that they started against the discrimination that they have to face we are talking about african americans they started the movement called civil rights movement in 1955 earlier prior to this 
African Americans were treated extremely unequally in United States of America. They were denied equality. For example, if they are traveling by a bus, they either had to sit at the back of the bus or get up from their seat whenever a white person wished to sit. On December 1, 1955, Rosa Park, she was an African American woman, tired from the long day work, she refused to give up her seat to a white man in a bus. This refusal of hers started a huge agitation which was termed as Civil Rights Movement of USA. This agitation was against the unequal ways in which African Americans were treated in United States of America. Eventually, this movement continued for very long and in 1964, an act was passed which was called the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and it prohibited the discrimination on the basis of race, religion or national origin. So you can understand by it clearly that it was not only India but other democratic countries also which were facing the issues of inequality in their societies. So now we have come to the last topic of this chapter that is challenges of democracy. No country can be described as being completely democratic. Some challenges are always existing in front of these democracies. Some of these challenges are number one struggle for the recognition of all persons as equal. Democracies always have to struggle to establish equality among its citizens. Number two, challenge of maintaining the dignity of all persons. As you have studied that dignity is closely related to equality, so there is always a challenge before the democracies to maintain the dignity of its citizens. Number three, to bridge the gap between the social and economic disparities among the people and number four to reduce casteism and communalism means to reduce the inequalities based on caste system and religion so now students we have completed this chapter I hope you have understood it well.